r slash s credit. What is the male equivalent of f asterisk ck this? I'll just be a stripper. <laughs> Roofing. As an ex-roofer, for some reason this is the job people take after they hit rock bottom. 98%, not hyperbole, are ex-cons, and while there is nothing wrong with convicts that have served their time to society and will use their new contacts on the roofing crew to reaffirm bad habits and will be back in prison before the year is out. I didn't watch this happen once, I lost count how often this happened. Then, you get the 1 out of 500, not hyperbole, that took what happened to heart, want to change their way, and will make a solid effort to learn the techniques that is needed to thrive as a roofer. They have 6 kids at home, and a wife who does not work, because that would affect their government assistance. This young man will keep it together for a year or two until the call of the wild calls back, and he's stripping ATMs and coke machines again before he's caught, and is back doing a nickel jolt. Roofing and roofers is an industry that needs an overhaul from the top down, and as the last generation gets older, roofing techniques will be forgotten. <laughs> Work the oil fields in North Dakota. I know many people who have done it. I worked on a spudder, SP, during my summers in college, and came out with no student loans. Granted it was a seriously tough job. I railed tail end, and you had 200 to 700 pounds metal tubing swinging at you, that you had to catch and stop on a wet oil covered platform, that you had about 5 feet to stop sliding, while being wet yourself in the middle of an Illinois cornfield, while toxic gas poured out of the hole in your face. Carrying 1000s of pounds of rods a day, working 80 plus hour weeks, basically you get home at 10pm or so, chug a 6 pack. Try to rinse the oil stains off your skin, then pass out and wake up in the dark at 4am to drive out to the rig to do it again. A lot of guys would mix alcohol and meth in the dog. How's to get by? <laughs> Truck driver. There is a 450 school by me that can have you licensed and behind the wheel of a semi over the road in two weeks. I'm a truck driver and a 450 instructor. We run a four week program followed by three weeks of over the road instruction. We get plenty of semi retired folks or people who are interested in starting a small business, but it is also incredibly common to get students without a penny to their name and who feel like there was nothing else they could do. Getting a 450 literally changes their lives. And yet, there is still about an 85% rate of failure among that demographic within the first year. They change companies multiple times and end up quitting the industry. It's not an easy lifestyle and the labor practices can be ugly. Thank you for watching. If you would like more, please subscribe to the channel and like the video.